Okay, so just as usual, we're priming our eyelids and I'm just using my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Primer and just popping that all over the lid and blending it out. And then after I've done that, I'm just going in with the vanilla eyeshadow and I'm basically popping this all over the lid just to set that area before we put any other eyeshadows. So now I'm going in with this warm brown eyeshadow and I'm just putting this in the crease and blending it through until it's nice and smoky. Just keep blending until you're happy. Um, I kind of blend it out and then focus it more in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. Now I'm going in with the darker brown shadow and I'm going to focus this right in the crease of the eye and just kind of blend it up into that other lighter brown I put there in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit and make it more, I guess, like a cut crease. So just keep blending the two together. Feel free to go back in with the other brown just to kind of blend it all nicely. And now I'm going in with this pearly white eyeshadow and I'm pretty much packing this all over the lid and not going past the crease. I kind of wanted to cut my crease ever so slightly, not too harsh, but just enough. So now I'm grabbing my liquid liner and I'm going to do a cat wing. After I've got my liner on, I'm just going in with some mascara before I put on some false lashes. And today I'm using my Adriana Lashes by Glamize Manicare, which I always, always use. So moving on to the face, I'm just going to prime my face with my Matte Primer by L'Oreal. And pretty much for the rest of the face, I'm doing the same thing as I do in every single tutorial. So it's pretty much the same foundation and concealing routine so I do show you but I do fast forward through it just a little bit just so you guys don't get bored of seeing the same thing but then I know some people kind of want to see it as well so I'm just popping on some concealer and highlighting blending out with my beauty blender and then I'll set my face with powder and yellow powder under my eyes it's pretty much all the same thing So now I'm taking this bronzing duo and I'm taking the lightest shade right there and I'm kind of illuminating my face in a way. This highlighter is very, very sheer. So I like to use it kind of under the eyes as well. It just brings a little bit more light to them. And now taking the bronzer, I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit. Now going in with this corally pink blush, I thought it was very appropriate for the look and it left a very nice sheen on the skin so it made my face look really really healthy so I did pop that on my cheeks and then I'm taking a little bit of bronzer and I'm just going to contour my cheeks the tiniest bit. So now going back to the eyes, I'm just taking this nude liner and I'm just popping this in the waterline just to open up the eyes just a little bit more. And now I'm taking this red lip liner slash eyeliner. Um, this is by Clean Color and I'm just lining that outer rim of the eye and then setting it with a red eyeshadow. So to finish off the eyes, I'm just taking a liquid liner and popping some little polka dots under my eyes. I just thought it was kind of cute, but it kind of reminded me of a ladybird. So I guess this would be good for a ladybird costume as well, but I thought it kind of added a nice touch to it. So now I'm just popping on some mascara and then after I've done that, I'm moving on to the lips and what's better for the lips than a red lip for Minnie Mouse. So I just went in with a red lip liner and a red lipstick. So this is what the makeup looks like after it's all done. It actually looks quite nice even with the polka dots under the eyes. But now moving on to the nose, I'm just using a black liner and I'm just kind of drawing a little nose on my nose and I'm just setting it with a black eyeshadow. 
So after you've done that, this is the completed look. Feel free to play with whatever you want if you need to change something up. My ears were way, way too big, so I could never fit them in the frame, but this is what they look like. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.